Oh, hey guys, Coach Andrew here. I'm down in the uh, the basement office home gym studio. Mm. I'm recording with my phone, which has a a little tripod that can barely support the weight of the microphone. But we're gonna try it anyways. And today, I'm gonna review the 10 day detox diet. So this is like a hybrid review video. We're gonna be talking about the book and the actual diet plan itself. And I'm gonna share my experience with the 10 day detox diet and let you know how it went for me. Even though I messed it up, I still got incredible results. We're gonna talk about it. So basically, um, if you don't know what this is, I'm gonna explain it real quick. If you do know what it is and you just wanna hear about my experience, I'll put the uh, number you should skip to right down here somewhere and you can just skip to that part of the video. If not, let's dive into this. So Dr. Mark Hyman, he's a pretty cool dude, looks fantastic for his age. Um, he designed something called the Daniel Plan, which is um, this meal plan that he administered to a, a, a network of churches, I believe, and like thousands of people went through it and lost like thousands of pounds of weight. And um, pretty awesome stuff, right? As a personal trainer, fitness and nutrition, and strength coach, um, I'm super passionate about health and wellness and nutrition and um, helping people get healthier. So I really love stuff like this. And I saw him on a channel on YouTube. I think it was Marie Forleo. I watched her interview him. And um, he's really good in interviews and he explained what this is and get, recommended this as the book to get started with if you want to learn more about his meal plan. So I said, hey, I'm always down to try like a new diet and meal plan. And um, honestly, I did powerlifting in 2018, gained a lot of weight. Um, don't feel, I feel strong, but I don't feel as fit as I used to. So I said, let's do it, let's, let's do it. My wife agreed. We ordered the book that day, got it two days later and um, started reading. So mistake that we made was we rushed into it. We were really, really impatient and we wanted to start right away. So we did not completely do, um, there's like a, there's like a setup phase in the book. It's like a week, I think, or maybe five days where you wean yourself off of caffeine and you like, you know, get ready to do the, the challenge, the detox. Um, we kind of skipped that and jumped right in. So that was a mistake. It wasn't the mistake that ruined the plan for us, but um, you will be setting yourself up for success if you do the preparation phase. I recommend you do the preparation phase. But to summarize what the book uh, says, the first few chapters are just all about statistics and there's like quizzes and surveys where you can um, basically take inventory of how you feel and rate yourself, figure out how toxic you are, um, how bad your diet is, you know, how overweight you are. It, it's really helpful for you understanding the obesity epidemic and the health crisis in Western civilization, um, you know, from a higher perspective. It kind of gives you the top-down view on everything that's wrong with our culture in terms of our health. And then it helps you apply that to yourself and figure out, like, am I part of the problem? And most of us are. Um, I actually scored only slightly toxic. I was, like, I think 10 or 15 points over um, the limit. So, like, I wasn't too bad starting the detox. Um, but, yeah. We jumped right in. And um, the diet plan, the 10-day detox plan, basically is this. You're not allowed to have any processed food. So if you buy food, you have to look at the nutrition label. And if it has anything in there that is not like a whole food or sugar, you can't have it, right? So no processed food, no sugar at all. Um, no artificial sweeteners either. So no stevia, no aspartame, um, no sorbitol, no sugar-free gum no natural sweeteners. So no agave nectar. Okay, that's actually what I messed up. I accidentally used agave nectar because I thought it was allowed. It's not. Nothing sweet. No syrup, no honey, nothing. No sugar. You're also not allowed to have any grains. Okay, so no grains. Doesn't even matter if they're whole grain. No rice, no potatoes, no starches. Um, you're not allowed to have any alcohol. My wife and I don't drink. Not a problem for some of you might be difficult. And no caffeine. Caffeine was the hard one for me. I usually, I mean, when I started this, I was taking like 400 to 500 milligrams of caffeine a day. 
which is like a pot and a half of coffee's worth, except I would take a 200 milligram caffeine pill in the morning. And I'd take pre-workout before I worked out and I'd usually take one or two cups of coffee. It was completely out of control. Um, so I stopped that cold turkey. <clears throat> and we filled our fridge with vegetables. So green vegetables. Um, you, you have to limit your fruit, by the way. You can have a little bit of fruit. You can have a little bit of meat, but you're supposed to limit your meat intake. And you can also have nuts and seeds. You can only use healthy oils, too. So like olive oil, grapeseed oil, sesame oil, um, coconut oil. There might be a few others, but some of the oils you have to avoid. So it's pretty intense. And um, you might be thinking to yourself, like, holy cow, that sounds flavorless. And for the first three days, it is. Um, <laughs> it really is. We'll get to that in a minute. I just want to finish up what the book is about. So the first part of the book is, is all about the epidemic and yourself taking inventory. Second part of the book is all about the uh, preparation phase, what to expect, what you're allowed to have. He walks you through purging your kitchen, grocery shopping, gives you recipes. And then the last half of the book, um, there's a chapter for each of the 10 days. And on every day of the detox, he gives you different mindfulness exercises to do. He, he basically like walks you through like, you know, write in a journal. Take a nice bath tonight and relax. Do some breathing exercises this morning. And he gives you stuff to do so that you stay engaged with the detox plan and you don't like fall off or get bored. Um, it, it really is a great book, but you just got to make sure that you read it every day and follow all the instructions because there's a lot of little things you can mess up if you don't pay attention. So overall, the book's great. Um, if you want to lose weight, if you want to get healthier, if you want to change your lifestyle, if you want to eat less shit, buy this book. It's great. I... It's simple, and um, I mean, it, it covers everything. It's not like a... The only thing that makes this diet plan complex is the sheer number of stuff you can't have. But, I mean, all things considered, it's pretty simple. You just eat healthy food only. So the book's good. My experience with the 10-day detox. So my wife and I made it to day six um, before we accidentally messed it up. So on day six we were making um, chocolate peanut butter bars that fit into the plan. So completely sugar-free, right? We had natural peanut butter. Um, we mixed that with sugar-free powdered peanut butter. We mixed almond flour and coconut flour together and then melted coconut oil, mixed that together, made kind of like a sludge, mixed in the peanut butter, and then we put 100% cocoa dust um, on the top layer and mix that with peanut butter and put it in the fridge. We made the mistake of adding agave nectar. I thought it was allowed on the plan. I was being really stupid and I didn't look at the label. It has a ton of sugar in it and it, it counts as a sweetener. So we had like 15 grams of sugar on day six. <laughs> so we kind of messed it up and like around day eight, we were just like, look, we, we've gotten enough benefits from this, we're gonna stop. So we didn't actually finish the detox, but here's what happened. Day one through three were miserable. My cravings for sugar were completely out of control. I would wake up and all I could think about was like chocolate chip pancakes. Like normally I don't crave like that, but when you stop eating sugar completely, you realize how much you actually eat during the day, even if you're a healthy person, right? Even if you're like a fitness enthusiast like me, you still eat sugary fruit all the time. You're not allowed to have strawberries on this plan. You're not allowed to have like pineapple, right? I eat lots of fruit, right? I eat, um, my protein powder had sugar in it. I didn't even realize. But when you completely deprive your brain of sugar, it's amazing how badly you want it. So like day one through three were really pretty miserable. Combine that with caffeine withdrawal. I think I slept 12 or 13 hours every day. And um, the rest of the day, like I could, I have a standing desk. I had to sit down because I had no energy. It was rough. It was rough. Do the preparation phase. It won't be this bad. Around day four, I started feeling much better. Like the evening, like around 4 p.m. on day four, I felt incredible. I, I had made a salad that night. It was like the 18th salad I had eaten that week with nuts on it and some oil. And I ate it and I was just like, that was really good. Like, I feel amazing. And I remember we went swimming that night in the pool. And um, I was just like, like, I feel great. I feel really great. And I realized I wasn't craving sugar anymore. And then like around day five, six, um, it wasn't even a thing anymore. 
I was really enjoying the food that I was eating. Um, I was making breakfast. I would take a couple whole eggs, some egg whites. I'd fry that up in the pan. And then I would fry scallions, mushrooms, jalapenos, spinach. Um, and then I would sprinkle some hot sauce. Make sure it's sugar-free hot sauce with cayenne pepper, turmeric, salt, and, and uh, black pepper on the eggs. And it, it tasted like heaven. I mean, like, I had never enjoyed whole food as much as I am now. And, like, I still am, right? So we stopped around, like, day eight. And um, at that point, both of us realized that, like, we were really enjoying vegetables. We were really enjoying the food that we were cooking. We were making stir fries. We were making omelets for breakfast, um, eating salads. There's really good recipes for power smoothies in here, like really thick smoothies with some blackberries and avocado and coconut oil and a lemon rind. And it's just like complete nutrition and it's delicious and you feel full and it gets you through the day. So, I mean, by the end of this, by the time we stopped, I was feeling amazing. I am still not taking any caffeine and I have energy throughout the whole day. Um, at least two or three of my meals a day are now 80 to 90% vegetables. Um, before I started the detox, I was eating like one bowl of microwave ramen like every two days. I've been doing that since high school. Kind of gross, I know. It's like my favorite food. But now just thinking about it, my stomach turns. I haven't had a bowl of ramen in about a month. And if you ask anyone who knows me, that's crazy. Um, yeah, so I, I don't eat as many carbs as I used to. I feel really great. No more caffeine. My sugar intake has been cut by like 80%. My vegetable and whole food intake has been multiplied by like four or five. And I eat fewer, uh, fewer carbs, fewer high glycemic index carbohydrates now. And I eat less meat. I also um, completely stopped drinking cow's milk. I don't consume any dairy regularly now. Um, occasionally I'll have a recipe with cheese and sometimes I have ice cream, but I don't have dairy anymore. You know what else is great? My skin. My skin has completely cleared up. So normally, my skin would be covered, like I have really bad back knee, and um, I would get like little pockets of oil on my arms and I'd pick at them. Um, you can go back and look at some pictures on my Facebook, or maybe find an old video on YouTube if I'm shirtless, and you'll see you'll see like all the scars and the, the red marks. Like my back looks amazing. My skin has cleared up. Another thing I noticed, I drink a lot more water. I pee less frequently and I don't stink. Normally after a workout, like my pants or shorts would smell so disgusting. I'd have to wash them immediately. Um, my armpits will smell pretty bad after like a day if I don't have deodorant. I didn't put deodorant on the other day and at the end of the day I was like, oh no, I forgot. And I smelled and like, I didn't smell bad. Like when you cut that much sugar out of your diet, the sugar is what like feeds the bacteria that causes the bad body odor. And if you deprive your body of the sugar, like there's less bacteria living on you and you don't stink. <laughs> so, I mean, like there's all kinds of crazy benefits um, that I have personally gotten from this diet. So if you're looking to lose some weight, if you're looking to clean up your diet, if you wanna make living longer, feeling better, you know, being free of disease. If you want to make that simple, like, start with this. Um, I highly, highly recommend it. I will probably begin recommending it to some of my clients who uh, need help with their diet, mostly because I hate writing meal plans. On a serious note, it's a great book. I really, really respect Dr. Hyman for everything he's doing. I think this plan is great. And something like this, if it became popular enough, could really, really help the health crisis. Um, in the United States and really in all of Western civilization because people are needlessly dying and um, people just need to get educated about what they're doing to their bodies. So anyways, that was another book review. Hope you enjoyed it. I will try to do more of these more often. I kind of kind of stopped doing them for a while. But I've got lots of books I've been reading. There's like seven more piles over here. Anyways, we'll talk soon. If you guys enjoyed this, please subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, leave a like. I will answer your questions. And if you want to ask me a question about business, entrepreneurship, running an online coaching business, fitness, or self-development, you can leave that in the comments or shoot it to the email in the description. 
I will answer your question in an Ask Coach Andrew video. You can check out those videos by going to my channel, finding the Ask Coach Andrew playlist. It's really great. I enjoy doing those. You can also check out my website, andrewwolner.com, to, to learn more about me, what I do, and what services and products I offer. And as always, we'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.